all right guys let's do a video man uh before i get into this particular one uh go down two videos below watch that one about america and how deep behind closed doors satan really is uh, dude there's some good stuff in there man tells you how how much of a grip satan has on this world uh, especially in politics okay world leaders and how it's all just going right on down that many aren't even aware of. Anyway, okay, let's get into this. Here we go. Uh, I know somebody who just put up a video about the blessings of God, okay? And how God will pour out the blessings in your life, even in these times, okay? Now, that is absolutely true. Uh, it's biblical, that God is going to, you know, if you're walking with God, you're talking, you know, you're, you're walking that way, you know, God will pour his blessings out on you, okay? Not everybody, but he's going to do it with you. He'll do it with everybody, guys, but I mean, there's some people that just, you know, they're, okay, I'm going to get to that in a minute. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is the video that I just watched is absolutely true. I'm not, I'm not disparaging in any, any way whatsoever. Now... However, there are Christians who don't ask God for anything, and that would be me. Okay? I'm one of those guys. You know why? You know why that is? Because I, th I know that God has my back 24-7. He has assigned an angel to me. Okay? Um, so I'm covered. I don't have to ask God because, dude, it's, already, it's a process that's ongoing already. As long as, dude, I mean, okay, my blessing, according to my brain, is that I wake up every morning, I got, I got breath in my lungs, that right there, that one breath of air, I can never repay God, even for that one breath, okay, that's, that's how much God has already blessed me right there, just one time that I inhale, okay, that's how my mind works, that's how I see it, okay, so I don't have to ask God for anything, he's got me covered, there's an angel zipping back and forth, doing its job. Uh, Michael's angel. So anyway, that's how I see it, guys. So, you know, there are people that ask God for blessings, and that's fine and dandy. God will pour them out. Now, the disciples, at least one of them, I think it was Paul, you know, they were, they were on a mission for God. Okay, and he wrote that daily, okay, they didn't know if they were going to live or die. Okay, going from town to town to town, being stoned, being thrown in jail, all the trials and tribulations. So God had them on that path. You understand? There were no blessings coming out where they had all kinds of money and all kinds of food and all kinds of this and all kinds of that. They were suffering to the point of death every single day. You know, not even knowing if you're going to wake up living. Okay, so that's me, guys. That's how I roll with God. I am willing to go underneath the bridge and do what I got to do. You're doing God's work, and no matter what happens, happens. So I'm not going to ask God for anything. Because, you know, even Paul wrote that it made his faith stronger because he knew that God had him covered. Okay? So there, that's what I'm talking about. That's the point I'm trying to make. God has me covered. Therefore, okay... I don't need to ask for blessings. I'm not looking for blessings. That's, that doesn't even come into my mind. I'm already blessed. I have a, a, a lungs full of air. All right, you guys see where that's coming from. Now, I'm gonna add a few things. Uh, over the years, I've debated many, many Christians. I've known a lot, many, many. Some of these Christians, you know, they think they have a communication with God. Okay, well, God told me to move here. God told me to do this. God's going to send me this. God's going to send me that. Okay? And it never happens. Never happens. And the way things are going now with how much time we have, it's not going to happen. Okay? So be careful on that. Now here, again, this is how Mike thinks. Uh, unless God literally speaks to me and I hear that voice with my ears, or he shakes me out of my bed with an earthquake, okay, to get my attention and then tells me something to do, okay, I'm not going to assume 
that God is leading me here or leading me there. You guys understand? Do you understand? Okay, it can be dangerous if you get up in your mind that you're thinking that, well, God is telling me to do this. No, 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 you got free will, guys. God is gonna allow you to make all your own decisions, you know, to move here, to do this, to marry this guy, to marry this woman, to do what you want. You know, you got that free will. You know, try to follow God's laws as you're doing it, and you should be okay. Okay, but it can be dangerous if you think you're hearing God's voice in everything you do. Okay, because God's, God's, you know, he's allowing free will, guys. He's letting you do what you want. Okay, he's not going to, he's not going to speak to everybody on every single issue. And in my case, unless I hear God's voice directly, uh, I'm not going to do it. I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say that God told me to do it. God's leading me here. God's doing this. God's doing that. Okay, you guys understand uh, how many people, you know, I know, I know people that work in hospitals. Okay, I'm not gonna say names. Uh, you got people dying, old people that are dying. Anybody who's dying on the, they're on their deathbed. They're, they got a, whatever five hours to live. The family comes in, okay, and the and the church comes in, and they start praying over this person. And well, God said, you know, if we if you, this 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 and this, that you know, if we pray this way, if we pray, you know, he's gonna live. He's gonna live. This guy's freaking 85 years old. Or whatever okay and these people expect God because of the Word of God because they're misreading scriptures that they're gonna bring this person back to life guess what happens when this person dies there goes your faith out the window because you're misreading scriptures incorrectly okay um, here's another way how Mike looks at it okay let's say I'm on my deathbed if God don't don't pray don't don't use scriptures to bring me back to life okay saying that God is going to do this and do this and raise the dead and da 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 don't do that okay because if God wants Mike to die you can pray for me I'm not gonna ask you to pray for me but if, if you know what if you want to pray for me fine but here's the deal if God wants to take my soul he's gonna take it okay whether I'm 20 years old 30 40 50 60 70 80 you guys understand how that works? Um, so don't assume that God is going, you know, because that's that's what happens, guys. You get a whole group of church people in there. They're all laying hands and praying on this person. God's going to God's gonna save them. God's going to save them. Then the guy dies, you know. Okay, learn from that. That, you know, it's all in God's control. The way you want to pray is that it's God's will be done. Okay, pray that way. That if that person survives, it's God's will. If that person dies, it's God's will. Okay, so pray that way, and it makes more sense. You understand? Don't always pray that God is going to do this and do this and do this and do this and do that. Pray that if it's God's will, it will be done. Okay? That's the way to do it, guys. You know, not everybody is going to get blessings poured out from heaven. Many are going to suffer. Many are going to walk daily not knowing if they live or die. Okay, so some may get blessings, some may not. You know, it's all up to God and what He sees in your life. What you should have. Some, some Christians are millionaires. Many are not. Many, many grow up poor. They grow up suffering. They're killed by the Iranians or whatever the heck and burned on a cross. Roman candles burned by the Romans. Okay, okay, guys, so that's how you look at it. That's how you look at the whole scheme of it all. Don't ever put God, you know, where you know, God is going to do this, God is going to do that. You know, no, 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 God may do that. You guys understand? Okay, God may lead me here, whatever, man. Okay, I, you know, again, I've seen many Christians. Uh, God told me this, God told me that, you know, and I'm looking at them and I'm talking to these people for years. And dude, it never happens. Okay, it ain't happening. Okay, and the more I look at where they're at, it ain't gonna happen. So they're hearing voices. Uh, no, 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 no. That's not how to do it, guys. Okay, again, unless you directly hear God from a burning bush, you know, or whatever. But and again, there may be times that He's gonna send a sign that's undeniable. 
without the voice, okay, then you can go that route too. But nine times out of ten, you know, just let God be in control. Don't don't get into the habit of saying this is gonna happen, that's gonna happen, because God said so. You know, no 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 no. God is going to do it. He's he's doing his thing, so that's the way you gotta let it flow. Okay? You understand? All right, guys. I, th I think I said uh, what I need to. Peace out. Take care. God bless. Have a great day.